Hey there, everybody. I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV, and welcome to a brand new episode. Today, I am going to be, you know, venting a little bit because uh, I think we've lived under the tyranny of jet boil for far too long. And I'm here today to rant about why we should all be ditching the jet boil. So let's get into the video and break it down. Sorry, jet boil, this one's gonna hurt. Okay, so to be fair, I've been using Jetboil for the last several years and was a little bit resistant to even bring it into my repertoire. And then when I did finally do so, I pretty much used the Jetboil fairly exclusively for literally like the last two or three years. But here's what I've kind of come away with is that I've developed some bad backpacking habits because of my dependency on the Jetboil. It is, uh, well, first of all, let's talk about why is the jet boil popular. It is, you see it across the globe. Everybody who goes backpacking is pretty much in love with the jet boils. And I can see why. Uh, first off, the main thing is that they are very efficient stoves. You can boil water in something crazy like 100 seconds flat, which is honestly really good. So the ability to transfer heat in these heat coils is great. It means you don't lose fuel. Uh, you don't waste fuel. It's very efficient to get the heat from your stove into the coils and boiling water super fast. But, so where's the problem? What, what, what am I talking about? Why am I even ranting about how we should all ditch jet boils? Well, the fact is, is that because it's very easy and efficient, it pretty much means that all we do as backpackers is rely upon it for boiling water and eating dehydrated or freeze-dried meals. Uh, and as good as some of these are, it's not very good to just go meal after meal after meal with freeze-dried uh, food. Uh, it's not good for your stomach. It can kind of wreak havoc on your gut. Uh, and it's expensive. Uh, so I have really, I really encourage backpackers to move away from the jet boil because of the way that it kind of inhibits our creativity around backpacking. So I have, like I said, I've been using Jetboil for pretty consistently for like the last two or three years. And then I just, this is kind of my recent thing. I have been on a pocket rocket kick. So this is the pocket rocket two. It's super cheap. It's 45 bucks. Uh, I love how light it is. It weighs in at like two ounces, fits in this nice, easy hard case container. And one of the things is that I can now be more diverse as a backpacker. So yes, if I'm just going by myself, I can just have my little pot that I, that I cook on and just do some uh, really quick water if I want to, uh, no problem. But the real thing is that I feel like backpackers really don't do cooking like a lot. They pretty much just are boiling backpacker meals and that's really it. So what I really like here, let me set, set this guy up so it's actually stable here. And I really mean this. I think that it's really important that as backpackers, we're not afraid to cook real food. So I like having a system like this. Uh, this is the Alpha Pot. It holds 1.9 liters of water or food or whatever uh, inside the pot. This pot weighs eight ounces. This stove weighs two ounces. This jet boil weighs 13 ounces. So if we're just talking about pure weight savings, it is a good way to save a little bit of weight, but that's not really what I'm super concerned about. I'm mostly concerned about not just living off of freeze dried food anymore. So I used to be a guide uh, for three years and there was only so many meals that I could make where it was just, you know, reconstituting beans and rice or, or doing something like this. So I started, being more creative with my meals. I started making pad thai, you know, fancy mac and cheese, doing soups and stews and adding in fresh ingredients. And I love being able to do that with a system like this. Whereas if you really try to cook in a jet boil, it is most likely going to result in a super charred cake that you will be <laughs> having a hard time cleaning off of the bottom because it's just so hot down there. It's really difficult to, uh, to cook a real meal off the jet boils. Now I do know that uh, some people are gonna be jumping down my throat out there saying like, you can get the attachments. And it's true, there are abilities to 
add in some attachments to these jet boils so that you can turn them into skillets. And that's great. But I just love the kind of going back to the roots of cooking over a little pocket rocket. So this is kind of like the original side of the original invention of backpacking stoves that really kicked off like good meals in the backcountry. So I am just a big fan of being able to do that. Now you may be saying like, oh, well this is bigger than this. And that's, that's true, it could be bigger, but also you can really utilize a lot of your interior space. You know, you can uh, add a mess kit and spoons. Sometimes what I like to do is store uh, soft goods like extra clothing, maybe things like uh, uh, pillows or stuff like that. This is not a uh, wasted space. You can fill that. Sometimes I just fill it with meals or food or snacks, headlamps, lighters, whatever it might need to be. Spare stuff that I'm bringing in my backpack already so that I'm making the most of that space. So really, um, I do, <laughs> This, while I'm saying this, I do appreciate that Jetboil is a quality product uh, and, I'm, and I apologize for Jetboil. They didn't know that I was going to start bashing them. I do, I do like them. I just think that, uh, you know, like any drug, you use it for too long, you become dependent upon it. There's a reason why it gets you hooked. Uh, but I've really been kind of just super excited about this lately. Uh, there's no affiliation with either of these companies. I'm not being paid. There's no reason why I'm promoting one or of an, another. I just see, I noticed from my own behavior as a backpacker, and I just see the prevalence of the jet boils out there. And I want people to know that you can create really creative meals in the backcountry, and it's really simple to do, even with a really cheap stove like this. This is a $45 stove. This is a little bit over $100. And uh, I just like the, the simplicity of it. Okay, so the actual differences between the two stoves, let's uh, hook this baby up and we can show you here. Why, why do people even like the Jetboil? Uh, well, they are efficient, they are easy to use. They are all an integrated system here. I've added a little bit of water to this pot. I do like that it uh, interconnects like that and I like that it has the own self-ignition. Another nice little feature is that it will show the heat. This will turn orange as that water gets hot. Yeah, just kind of a fun little, uh, you know, little side bonus. So the main difference between these two is gonna be heat loss. And actually this stove will be a little bit less efficient because there's all this air that can escape out here. And if it's breezy, uh, now, of course, you can just remedy that with a windscreen. You can just get like an aluminum little bendable metal windscreen. <laughs> and it'll just wrap around and create a nice environment for, uh, for keeping that heat in. But you can see like this too is super fast. Both of these are really fast. They're basically boiling at about the same amount of time. This has a little bit less water in it. Like this is going to be a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient, but it's not like this can't do it. So the main thing for me is just, while I might have to spend an extra 20 seconds waiting for this water to boil, which will use a little bit extra more, which will use a little bit more fuel. To me, I just love being able to cook in the backcountry, be able to have that more creative meals. And uh, I actually like just having this lower design too, whereas if I'm trying to, eat out of here, I got to stick, stick the spoon kind of all the way down. Whereas, you know, it's a little bit easier here. So I just like the ergonomics of it. There's just so many times where I prefer cooking over something like a pocket rocket or this style uh, canister stove that I, I just really like. And I hope that you can see the differences and uh, incorporate this into your own systems here. So that's it. That's my rant. It's just a simple video. I just want you guys to uh, have some creative freedom in your cooking, in your food as a backpacker. So what, am I, am I totally wrong here? Am I totally off base? Well, hit me up in the comments below. I bet some people will have some thoughts. If you have thoughts, let me know. And uh, yeah, what's your, well, let's just hear it. What's your favorite meal? What's your, are you a jet boil person or are you gonna be some sort of different type of stove? Doesn't have to be the pocket rocket. There are lots of other ones out there as well. 
Go live a free and fulfilling, vibrant life out there, everybody. And uh, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hope to see you subscribed here on the channel. I'm Eric Hansen. I'm going to go make some mac and cheese. See you later.